Lithuania is a beautiful country full of culture, history, and stunning nature, making it an ideal vacation destination for travelers from all around the world. From its fascinating capital city, Vilnius, to its picturesque lakes and forests, Lithuania offers something for everyone. Here is our list of must-see places in Lithuania. Number 1. Vilnius Old Town Vilnius Old Town is a must-see destination for any visitor to Lithuania. The Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its beautiful architecture, including Gothic and Baroque styles. Visitors can explore the cobblestone streets and admire the colorful buildings, many of which date back to the Middle Ages. Some of the most notable landmarks in the Old Town include the Gothic St. Anne's Church, the Baroque St. Peter and St. Paul's Church, and the Vilnius University Complex. The Old Town is also home to many museums, art galleries, and shops, making it a great place to spend a day or two exploring. Additionally, the Gediminas Tower, which is a symbol of the city and the oldest part of the castle complex, is a must-visit while exploring the city. Number 2. Trakai Castle Trakai Castle is a 14th-century castle located on an island in Lake Galv, just a short drive from Vilnius. The castle is a great place to learn about Lithuanian history, as it was once the residence of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania. The castle is a fine example of medieval architecture and is surrounded by beautiful lakes and forests. Visitors can take a tour of the castle's interior, which includes exhibitions on the castle's history and the culture of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, and also the island castle's history and the way of life of the people who lived there. The castle also offers beautiful views over the lake and the surrounding forests. The nearby town of Trakai is also worth a visit, and it is famous for its traditional Karaim restaurants and the wooden houses, which are built in the traditional style of the Karaim people, who have lived in this area for centuries. The town is also home to a number of museums, including the Trakai History Museum, which provides more information about the town's rich history. Number 3. The Hill of Crosses. The Hill of Crosses is a pilgrimage site located near the city of Sialiai in northern Lithuania. It is known for its thousands of crosses that have been placed there over the centuries by Catholic faithful, who come to the site to pray and pay their respects to the Virgin Mary. The Hill of Crosses is considered one of the most important religious sites in Lithuania, and it has become a symbol of the country's resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The hill is covered with thousands of crosses, rosaries, statues of the Virgin Mary and other religious items, many of which have been left by visitors as a sign of devotion or as a memorial to loved ones. Some crosses are simple wooden structures, while others are more elaborate, with intricate carvings and decorations. It's not clear when the first crosses were placed on the hill, but it is believed that the tradition of leaving crosses on the Hill of Crosses began in the 19th century, during the period of Lithuanian National Revival, as a form of resistance against the Russian Empire's attempts to suppress the Catholic Church and the Lithuanian language. Number 4. Kuronian Spit The Kuronian Spit is a 98 kilometers long, thin, curved sand dune spit that separates the Kuronian Lagoon from the Baltic Sea coast. It is located on the coast of Lithuania and Russia, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Kuronian Spit is a unique natural formation that is home to a diverse array of plant and animal life, as well as some picturesque fishing villages. The Spit is popular with visitors for its unspoiled beaches and dunes, which offer great opportunities for swimming, sunbathing, and beachcombing. Visitors can also take a walk or bike ride along the Spit's many nature trails, which provide excellent views of the lagoon and the sea. The Kuronian Spit is also home to several small, traditional fishing villages, such as Juadkrant and Nida, where visitors can learn more about the local culture and history. The Kuronian Spit is also home to the Kuronian Spit National Park, 
which is a popular destination for nature lovers. The park is known for its diverse plant and animal life, including many rare species of birds and butterflies. The park also offers excellent opportunities for hiking and bird watching. The Curonian Spit is a great place to visit for those who want to experience the beauty of nature and to explore the traditional way of life of the people living in the area. Number 5. Kaunas Castle. Kaunas Castle is a medieval castle located in the city of Kaunas, Lithuania. The castle was originally built as a fortress to protect the city from the Teutonic Knights, and it played an essential role in defense of Lithuania throughout the centuries. The castle has been rebuilt several times, and today it serves as a museum where visitors can learn about the history of Kaunas and the castle itself. The castle dates back to the 14th century and is a great place to learn about the city's history. The castle's main attraction is its well-preserved tower, which offers excellent views of the city and the surrounding area. The castle also houses several exhibitions and artifacts, including weapons, armor, and other historical items that help visitors to understand the castle's past and the history of Kaunas. Visitors can also explore the castle's underground tunnels and learn about the castle's role in the city's defense throughout history. Number 6. Palanga Amber Museum. The Palanga Amber Museum is the largest amber museum in Lithuania and is located in the seaside resort town of Palanga. The museum is home to a vast collection of amber artifacts, including jewelry, sculptures, and other decorative items. The museum's collection includes pieces dating back to prehistoric times, as well as more recent examples of amber art and craftsmanship. Amber is a fossilized resin that has been prized for its beauty and healing properties for thousands of years. The museum's exhibits showcase the various ways in which amber has been used throughout history, from ancient jewelry and figurines to modern art and design. Visitors can also learn about the science behind amber and the geological processes that formed it. The museum's collection includes a wide range of amber artifacts from various cultures and time periods, including ancient Greek and Roman jewelry, medieval Christian art, and contemporary sculptures. The museum also features a collection of insects and other small animals that have been preserved in amber, providing a unique glimpse into the prehistoric past. Number 7. Nida. Nida is a small fishing village located on the Curonian Spit, a 98 kilometers long, thin, curved sand dune spit that separates the Curonian Lagoon from the Baltic Sea coast. It is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful sand dunes, traditional wooden architecture and peaceful atmosphere. Nida is a great place to visit for those looking for a quiet, relaxed holiday. Nida's main attraction is its dunes, which are some of the highest in Europe and offer great opportunities for hiking and sunbathing. Visitors can also take a walk or bike ride along the spit's many nature trails, which offer great views of the lagoon and the sea. The Curonian Spit is also home to several small, traditional fishing villages, such as Juadkrant and Nida, where visitors can learn more about the local culture and history. Nida is also home to the Thomas Mann Memorial Museum, which was the summer home of the famous German writer. Visitors can tour the house and learn about Mann's life and work, and his connection to Nida. The house is surrounded by a beautiful garden, where visitors can relax and enjoy the scenery. Number 8. Druskaninkai. Druskaninkai is a spa town located in the southeast of Lithuania, known for its mineral-rich waters and is a popular spot for relaxation and wellness. The town is surrounded by beautiful forests and hills and is often referred to as the spa capital of Lithuania. Druskaninkai's main attraction is its spa resorts, which offer a variety of treatments using the town's mineral-rich waters. The waters are known for their healing properties and are said to be particularly effective for treating respiratory and skin conditions. 
visitors can choose from a range of spa treatments, including mineral water baths, mud wraps, and massages. The town is also home to several wellness centers, which offer a range of services, including fitness classes, yoga, and meditation. Visitors can also enjoy a variety of outdoor activities in the surrounding forests and hills, such as hiking and cycling. In addition to its spa and wellness offerings, Druskaninkai is also a popular destination for culture and history enthusiasts. The town is home to several museums, including the Grutas Park, an open-air museum that features sculptures and exhibits from the Soviet era. The town also has a rich cultural heritage, and visitors can take a stroll through the historic center and admire the beautiful architecture. Number 9. Pazizlis Monastery. Pazizlis Monastery is a 17th-century Baroque monastery located in Kaunas, Lithuania. It is known for its beautiful architecture and peaceful atmosphere. The monastery was built by the Polish-Lithuanian noble family, the Radziwills, and is considered one of the most important Baroque architectural complexes in the region. The monastery's main attraction is its beautiful church, which is adorned with intricate frescoes, sculptures, and stucco work. Visitors can also explore the monastery's cloisters and gardens, which offer a peaceful and tranquil environment. The monastery also houses a museum, which displays a collection of religious artifacts, including paintings, sculptures, and manuscripts. Pazizlis Monastery is also known for its annual Pazizlis Music Festival, which takes place in the summer and features a variety of classical music performances. The festival is held in the monastery's church and attracts visitors from all over the world. The monastery is surrounded by a picturesque park, which offers a great opportunity for a leisurely stroll and to admire the natural beauty. The park also features a lake, a waterfall, and a small island. Number 10. Klaipeda. Klaipeda is a port city located on the Baltic Sea coast of Lithuania. It is the country's only port city and has a rich history and culture that visitors can explore. The city is a great place to enjoy the beach, explore the city's history and culture, and try some delicious seafood. One of the main attractions of Klaipeda is its old town, which is home to a variety of historical buildings, including the impressive Klaipeda Castle, which dates back to the 13th century. Visitors can also explore the city's many museums, such as the Lithuanian Sea Museum, which tells the story of the city's maritime history and the Kuronian Spit National Park Museum, which provides an insight into the unique nature of the Kuronian Spit. Klaipeda is also a great place to enjoy the beach, with a long stretch of sand and a promenade that runs along the coast. Visitors can take a stroll along the beach, swim in the sea, or relax on one of the many beach cafes. For seafood lovers, Klaipeda is a must-visit destination. The city's seafood restaurants are famous for their delicious seafood dishes, which are made using the freshest local ingredients. Visitors can try a variety of seafood dishes, such as smoked fish, grilled fish, and seafood soups. The city is also a popular destination for water sports enthusiasts, with a variety of activities on offer, including windsurfing, kiteboarding, and kayaking.